Hi everyone, welcome to Homebrew Wednesday, num well, episode number 20 for me, it's the 15th of Jan episode. Um, not much going on for me this week, so um, I thought I'd show you, me, um, brewing up some Polish syrup black currant cider. So let's head down to the kitchen and let's get cracking. I'll be back in a minute. Cheers guys. Right then, welcome back. As always with uh, brewing and... Uh, you need your ingredients and kit. So for this we have one Demijohn, airlock, um, measuring jug in case of emergencies, one funnel, basics flavour um, apple juice which is from concentrate, cheapest you can get. There's five litres there but we won't need five litres. Um, there's 150 grams of sugar as well and last but not least, the magic ingredient is that baby, which is a black currant Polish syrup. Okie dokes, let's get cracking. First task is we're going to pour two litres of our apple juice into the demi joint. So I'll do one, I won't send you to sleep by doing them all. One, back in a sec. Next up we got 150 grams of normal table sugar, um, silver spoon I think in this case, that you and I will put in tea or coffee. So that goes into the two litres of cider. As if by magic the funnel gets filled, but we'll wash that down with the next litre of apple juice. But before the apple juice, we whip in the magic ingredients the Polish black currant syrup. Now, just as a quick tip on this, it comes with one of these little rubber bung things in the top. You can see that with a quad slot top. Um, whip it out with a pair of pliers, otherwise you'll be standing there till Easter trying to pour it into your demijohn. So whip the top out and then pour this into there and that will start trickling through. Also give that a quick wash out as well with the old um, apple juice just to get all the bits of goodness out and when you return as if by magic all of that lot will be in here. A little bit of apple juice give that a good old shake just to get all of the goodness out of the out of the syrup. Job's a good one, and uh, as always, take it down to your recycling bottle bank. And next, we put in our third litre of uh, apple juice. Swill it round the funnel, of course, just to get any remnants of sugar or syrup that are stuck to the side in there. That's litre number three in. And next thing to do is to take out the funnel and give it a damn good shake. So um, I'm sure you don't want to see me flapping my hands about like a flailing idiot. So come back in two minutes when this has had a good shake. Cheers guys. Following the good old shake up, if you can see that, that's like a, that really is a nice deep red, nice black currency, sort of like Vimto Ribena sort of colour. Um, so that's looking fab. Next thing I'm going to do is to pop in a uh, teaspoon of brew enhancer and then we're going to whack the yeast in. Um, this at the moment has got three litres of apple juice in and a 440ml um, Polish syrup cider bottle. So by the time you take into account everything, we're looking at about three and a half. So We'll let that ferment for a couple of days and then we'll start topping it up with um, apple juice. So let's get cracking with the uh, yeast and yeast nutrient. Next thing goes some yeast nutrient, one level teaspoon. In that goes. 
There goes the spoon, followed by six grams of yeast. This is just what came in a kit, obviously you can buy special cider yeast, but I find this works adequately well. In it goes. Next up, my hands have been in the sanitizer, so they are nice and clean. We'll get our, let's give it a quick, quick swish and a squash. And there you have it, Polish blackcurrant syrup cider. Um, now it does need topping up as I mentioned, but we'll do that once uh, a little bit of fermentation starts. Otherwise, as you can see from the level there, you haven't got a great deal of room. And what I found, if I top it up to you know sort of that level, when uh, when the yeast really kicks in, it just blows out nine times out of ten. So you come down early in the morning in your kitchen floor or wherever it is completely covered in uh, chrysan and, uh, and cider. So next thing to do is to pop in our airlock, pop the top on, a bit of water probably halfway in, put it in, leave it for a couple of days. Jobs are good. Isn't? What I've done as well is I've done a hydrometer reading just to as, as a bit of a guideline for me um, because obviously it will change when it gets topped up with the apple juice for the remainder but that there uh, I'll try and move it towards the camera but no my luck I'll spill it everywhere and let's try and get that towards you is it gonna go you can probably see the bottom of it but that is 1090 so it gives a bit of a guideline for where we are at the moment Thank you. Now just to finish this off guys, as I mentioned there's about three and a half litres worth of liquid in there. Um, it's, you know, over the next 24 hours that's really going to kick off the old uh, fermentation. So tomorrow I'll put in another litre of that that will probably take me up to about there and then I may top it up with some more from this thing here but to save me coming back tomorrow and showing you exactly the same but it uh, filled up to the top a bit more um, I think I'll leave it where it is but as you can see it's quite easy so if I can make it you can too so get down to your local supermarkets have a look at all your local Polish uh, shops as well this uh, syrupy stuff is fantastic all sorts of different flavours from concentrate and it gets from me the big thumbs up all that remains for me to do is to pop a Demijohn warmer over it, which the good Mrs. Brewbear knitted me. Jobs are good, um, and uh, and that is it. And I think that will come out. Well, you have to do a bit of a rough calculation because of the uh, the, the change in the in the volume of apple juice. But um, the last sort of similar batch I did. I reckon that could come out somewhere about the 7% markish, maybe a bit more, depending on how the sugars go. So that's all for me, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, so there's a few videos out there of people making different types of cider, but this is my one. So cheers for watching, guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed it. Be seeing you.